Yes. So I'll jump into my winners and losers because my – of course, my team being Broncos, I also had them as my winners. I really like what they did in the draft, uh, especially from the aspect of if you're going to trade around, trade away all your future picks for Aaron Rodgers coming up, uh, that they brought in a lot of good young talent, especially in the secondary. Uh, so I really liked what they did, adding in that Patrick Sutan, of course, being the big pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, the running back, uh, Williams, filling in that need. I think he could really um, – you know, I don't want to make – Melvin Gordon expendable, but that's kind of the aim. But then, that, see, that, that's what I hated about Broncos draft. They traded up. They gave up actually a fair bit to get Javonta Williams, who's well, a beast, but they paid Melvin Gordon last year. They got rid of Philip Lindsay, who was on a couple million Yeah, but they only, they only lost the fourth in the end, and then they traded back, and they ended up with two third-round picks. So and they made 10 picks in total mm. across the draft, so they added a lot of young talent in there. So I don't think it was a huge loss in that regard. I really liked their third-round picks of Browning and – uh, the centre, men is it Menzel? Uh, I mean, yeah, the, from West, the, he was the one that had that tape, like wrestling trees yeah. and shit. Yeah. So another <laughs> guy we've got to add to is a possible centre to compete with Cushenberry there. But I like Browning as a athletic linebacker. He's yeah. purely a, mm. purely athlete that needs to put together essentially the mental game and mm. the actual um, technical part of being a linebacker. So I think they'll start him inside. He could probably learn outside as well. Um, I really liked that what they were doing up until um, James, their right tackle, blew out his Achilles um, two That's days safe, ago. So yeah, yeah Juwan James, that is. Um because, you know, right tackle was a need if you thought James wasn't going to come back and, of course, blown out your Achilles. They don't think it's season ending, so he could be back um, towards the end of the year, uh, depending on how his surgery goes. Uh, but it's a big... Was it a torn Achilles? A rupt- like, ruptured the torn. Achilles? Torn, I think completely torn. Yeah. Fuck, and he's, they, what, they reckon he'll get back. Well, which I think... 300-pound man with a torn Achilles. Which I think well is... Like well. No doctors here. No doctors. Yeah, no doctors. <laughs> I, think they, I think they prefer they're completely off the bone because then they... It's a it's a reattachment surgery, so if the reattachment takes, yeah, then right. it's rehab. So it's a little it's a little bit easier on the surgery Thank you, and the time Paul. frame. Doctor, yeah, uh, t- he say here. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's why they they like to bring him back. So of course they didn't pick any tackles um, mm-hmm. in this draft. Mm-hmm. Uh, so which you know this now being a weakness. So of course they're looking at uh, free agents. So hopefully they'll fill that position. Um, but the huge story that kind of came out with from this was his guarantees because mm. um, mm. he's injured himself away from the facility, mm-hmm. which is now considered a non-football-related injury, mm-hmm. which voids his guarantees. And for him, he's got 10 mil this year, 10 mil next year, mm. uh, which look which voids both. Uh, so it's a 20 mil loss for him, uh, which – a lot of the players, kind of, well, a lot of players, didn't actually understand that this was the case, because mm. the the NFLPA, so the the Players Association, had told them, you don't need to work out in facilities. Stay away from the facilities. You're more likely to get COVID. Um, so there, of course, in the you know, all the players that you assigned, and hey, we're not coming to voluntary workouts. We're going to work out away from the facility, uh, but under their contracts, they're not covered. For, guar- for, for injuries for their guarantees. Um, so if they injure themselves not in a, uh, a um, registered or agreed to football facility that they can train at, then their guarantee is avoided, which is a huge get for the Denver because they mm. can essentially can get rid of him um, and not have to eat, eat a huge amount of cap, don't have to pay in the bonus, and then, then they can pay that towards another right tackle. Um, so it would be interesting to see whether they want to hold on to him, see if he can come back or not, or they just cut bait and say this is – one of the worst deals we've ever made. Um, we've gotten three or four games out of him in f- three years uh, mm. and cut bait, which is huge because then all, all the players were like, well, then if LPA, the Players Association, has given us this advice and it's actually not good. Like mm. we should mm. – if I, I shouldn't be training at all or, or doing anything if mm. if mm. Um, um, my gar- – like I'm a big-time player, my – yeah, my guarantees. So I think a lot of players are pissed off at their um, NFLPA – which, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago, you'd have a lot of blokes restructuring deals if that if now that this has happened. Yeah, or, or they'll be like, "Well, I'm going to go back to the facility and train." Like this mm. is, yeah, I'm, it's I'm, screams I don't of, of of little settlement and and and, and go away type thing. He well, won't get his twenty. They won't get away scot free. Yeah, they'll, they'll meet in the middle. They'll, ma- they'll, they'll they'll be a, a nice handshake, I think, in here to get rid of him, unless they want to bring him back, of course. Uh, but the we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. This the the reaction to not attending voluntary work. Workouts might have been um, the PA's kind of response to like we didn't really like the 17 game season, mm. um, so yeah, we're not going to say players can come and 
uh, train will want them to go home and take it easy for you know another month before they actually turn up to any training camps. Um, this is yeah. this has kind of backfired a little bit. You know, it was going to happen to someone. Unfortunately, it's happened to James. Mm. Uh, he's kind of put it out there that hey, you're not covered um, if you get injured at a facility that isn't um, agreed to by the club, um, which could cost you big dollars. So a lot of players are like. You well, know, fuck what yeah, yeah. Take the handcuffs them to what they're gonna do yeah, yeah. a lot a lot of form players don't talk uh, well about the PA is also well, yeah so. the top end don't like the agreements the PA settle for but the majority it works out yeah, for it them. helps the working yeah. class of course hundred percent and that's the majority of the league that's the guys who you know actually need those paychecks coming yeah. through agree agree so my summary I thought the Denver were winners I really like what they were doing with adding young talent especially on the defense I think seven of the ten picks were defense they're going to have an unreal defense if everyone's healthy next year um, especially for Fangio uh, but they need quarterback I don't mind going in the season with Locke and Bridgewater but I don't think they're maybe they sneak in as a playoff team as a wild card but uh, in that west they're going to their third team um I'm going to say the height of the Raiders just because Raiders. Um, but if they can pick Aaron Rodgers up or have, Deshaun yeah. Watson, they, they've been heavily involved in both those conversations. They, they've they they've made it very clear. of like, hey, if we're not going to go with Teddy or Locke, um, it's, we want a premier quarterback that's going to take us to playoffs. We don't want to take another guy that's – There's no point bringing another guy that like may Sam or Donald may not bring or, a proven guy. Yeah, yeah Donald yeah. or Minshew. It was just like that doesn't really improve us to the point we want. You know, we've got a super young core already. If we can keep our offensive players, mm. if we can keep that defensive core together, um, you know, sell the farm for picks, we can compete and maybe win a Super Bowl in the next two years. Nice. That's my thoughts. Monks, you're next on that list. Yeah. Yep. Um, so my winners from the draft uh, were the Cowboys. Ooh. <laughs> Not necessarily – because they had the best draft class, but they just knew what they wanted to get. I like they, their movements. They went out and got it. We, defense, we talked defense, about it defense. on the live, live stream as well, mm-hmm. moving back, yeah. um, not kind of losing out. on. There was one guy they were targeting. They moved back, mm. get some extra picks, still get that guy. Mm. Um, they it. play the draft, draft board really well. Yeah, so eight out of, out of their 11 picks were defensive players. And at each level, they picked someone first at six, every level. I think level. it was their yeah. first six picks yeah. or something. Yeah. They yeah. knew yeah. their problems, which was... Well, their <laughs> offense is stacked. Like we yeah, did they're, they're, that's they've they're got line, that great O-line, line, line, Dak's back. Well, yeah. O-line's old. That was my only thing. Yeah. Their first, yeah. you know, Amari, um, C.D. Lamb. Gallup. Gallup. Yep. Set. Maybe tight end. Mm. you got the backs. Like, the offense is set and they went... And their defense was putrid last year, so... Yeah, yeah. So um, obviously, first round uh, we'll split fifty fifty between linebacker and cornerback. Mm-hmm. Um, they ended up going linebacker mm-hmm. in Micah Parson. Um, yeah, Parson's a good pick for them. Which yeah, yeah. replace Sean Lee. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so good replacement for Sean Lee. Um, and then yeah, again across the board, they sort of just covered covered the defense. Um, all the areas that they really needed to address. Uh, I didn't realize they didn't pick up Van Der Esch's fifth year option. Yeah, I only found that out a couple of days ago. So yeah. they really his body, they just have no faith in it. So it's crazy. Cause I, he's I think a very the, good player. I think the other there. problem as well, like as a for him as a linebacker, that's like a ten mil salary. So they're like, oh, we don't think you're worth that as, mm. at this point with the amount of injuries you've had as well. So it's it's, it's a contract lead year for him. If he needs to come out, be healthy, play sixteen games, seventeen games. Uh, yeah, put up the numbers that they expect mm. of him. Absolutely, and then maybe know, get they a resign, might, or but then he'll be a free agent, so he can pick. Yeah, if he exactly. choose where he goes. So yeah, mm. yeah, no, definitely. Um, and I had Seattle as my losers. Um, so they had the least amount of picks in an NFL draft since 2019. Jets. Mm. Um, they only had three, and it didn't really seem like they dr- not that it could do much. They didn't, couldn't even show up to the draft, but they didn't really address the concerns that they had. Um, so they drafted, uh, what was it? Uh, was it Eskridge, the wide receiver for, from yeah. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Dwayne Eskridge, uh, Western Michigan. Yeah. So smaller uh, school, like I agree much. Yeah. And they said, oh, you got to count Jamal. Cause so obviously they had no draft picks cause they traded for mm. Jamal Adams from the Jets. So mm, yeah. oh, you have to count him in the mm. draft class. Mm. Well, fuck, yeah, you throw true. Jamal Adams in no, plus three. That's it's, not, it's how no it works. good. It's that's not how it works it. at all. No, but exactly right. So that's it. They are one team I reckon falls off a cliff as well. Yeah. Russell yeah. can only yeah. do well, so much it. to make them. Yeah, I need Russell to cook, but yeah. Uh, yeah, stuck conference. So they drafted um, wide receiver in the first round, a cornerback in the fourth round. Oh, sorry, not the first round. Um, 
and then the third pick was um, a tackle. Um, but yeah, not as oh, yeah. He's not going to start round run, and, and you know that's not what Russell was talking about. No, yeah, yeah. And obviously the talk wasn't as large as um, Rogers, but Russell did come out. Yeah, he voiced some concerns. He had concerns, and yeah, it just didn't seem like. I mean, you got to look after your quarterback, and it didn't really seem like mm. they were um, too concerned about that. But we'll see what happens um, with the rest of free agency leading up to the start of the season. But yeah, yeah, it's so wild. Like Green Bay, fucking Houston, you got, Seattle. You got you've got the quarterback. Mm. Just do everything you can to protect him. Just, mm-hmm. just, mm. just draft linemen, sign, do whatever you have to do. The rest will fall in place because we've seen what they could do. They can carry you to the promised land. Yeah, yeah. Like, look what Tom Brady does it more with his head than his arm, but he carried that team. Just carried his seems like an overstatement, but he got that team from <laughs> seven and nine to yeah. Super Bowl champions. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're not wrong. once like, you yeah, get it, that, do what you can. Don't piss him off. Don't draft his backup while he's in his prime. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Well, don't draft his backup in the first round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't trade up. Oh, it's just wild. It's yeah. I don't know. Like, when yeah. none of us are general managers, but nah. No. No, I didn't cover it's, Before we get to you yeah. Peps I didn't cover my losers um, My loser was Texans Because Texans uh, Well same so. thing Again they have no <laughs> I, did, I, did I nick yours Did I Sorry yeah, That's right We can We we, we, can, we, we can agree with each yeah, other For once yeah. on the ESG uh, Yes Talk yes. about it <laughs> uh, uh, My winners yep. Go, go yep. your winner And Mac, Mac alluded to it before Cleveland Browns Yeah Cleveland yeah, Browns I think I think they got the The fourth best corner Coming out of it In, mm. in Greg Newsom mm. um, Great size for the position, yeah, yeah, he's six one. He's he's one eighty five, one ninety. I don't saying. think he had the production or say the the technical um, uh, fundamentals as the others had. Is that ahead of him. Is that exactly who played out of their skin this year? But yeah. uh, traditionally, not not a huge, score. not a powerhouse. But to say that, like he's prototypical, that you're going to bring him in and teach him all the things. Indeed, round two, JOK, the Joker. How, yeah. how did he slip this far? Heart, heart, heart issues. So okay. he, he... Size. No, size, no, size yeah. is fine. It was, heart, it was heart issues. So, so, they, so he's like a linebacker cross safety. Is hybrid, though. How they, they, how they played yeah. him hybrid yeah. out of Notre Dame. Yeah. So a lot of teams came out. A lot of teams had first round grades on him. Uh, he's medical. He, he had some heart concerns there. He never had any heart problems leading up to it. He said mm. after the draft, I've never ever, ever had heart problems. Mm. But of course, his medicals, there were some concerns about his heart. And that's why he dropped as far as he did. I Which is a JOK. Yeah. That's a huge pickup yep. for yeah. uh, Cleveland because I think that's an excellent ad for them. I think you said it, Peps, that you talked about uh, Darius Leonard talking about him. Mm-hmm. He came out after the, like a playoff game saying, I played that game in 218. Like, yep. And so, like, when you're a sideline to sideline linebacker, doesn't size doesn't matter. You don't have to take yeah. on the big guard. You're going sideline yeah. to sideline. You've got to pick up tight ends and running backs in the and league. That's what yeah. makes me question. Yeah. They go, oh, this guy's got 32 inch arms and this guy's got 33. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and I'm going to, to tackles here, but mm. you're like, Come on, man. Like, can you just watch the tape? Yeah. And there's all these red flags yeah. and this and that. And you're like, fuck. obviously this is a little bit different because it's doctors, you know, talking about it. But, man, I feel for the bloke. He he played yeah. he played He'd be a first-round pick otherwise. Yeah, he played lights mm-hmm. out. So I hope his tick is fine and I hope he goes out and kills it for mm-hmm. the Cleveland Browns. And, and Sean and said it in a league where Lamar Jackson's your direct rival. He fucking, he's your spy and he, yeah, he, he can yep. run with Lamar. Absolutely. I he can. Yep. And then speaking of fast – Fast guys, their third their uh, third round pick, Anthony Schwartz, wide receiver out of Auburn, reports Wheels. reports are he runs a sub four three, mm. like mm. not really sure, but between four two five and four two nine. Mm. That's gas. And they've already got they've already got Odell, they've already got Jarvis. So mm. so Jarvis, your volume, you know, he's going to catch ninety hundred passes this year. Odell. You've, Does what he wants, yeah. Yeah, you've spoken about him. If he can get back to where he was. Mm. Bulk and, tensions. and then they got that Donovan Peoples-Jones mm. who really came along this year. Plus Hooper and Duke, Joku, the tight ends. Like, they, they, they're a mouth to feed there. <laughs> I think Baker take, takes a big step forward. Like, yeah, and like you so. said, I think like that, they're right there with the Ravens. I just yeah. think you give, you give Ravens a nod because... And did, did we say... And they added so many weapons on defense as well. During mm. our... It might have been in our NFL uh, draft live stream... Baker is the first Cleveland Brown quarterback to start three seasons in a row <laughs> since since they come back and like like it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's so they've got something there. They've got as a, a, neutral, a, as a neutral. I can't find a weak spot in that team. As a neutral, I'd love to see the Cleveland Browns mm. play lights out this year. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. And your, your loser, of course, was I, Texans? Houston. Yeah. Well, 
obviously, yeah. Uh, no, no, no real picks in know. that Laramie Tunsil. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that the hard way a few weeks ago. Yeah, they only had five picks, wasn't it? Um, they picked Davis Mills, who was sort of yes. that, that, that that's that best that wasn't a first round quarterback. Yeah, the People quarterback said was about. sort of there. Um, he was there because it was a bit of a run. It went Trask, him, and then Kellen Mond to the Vikings. Mm. Yep. Um, Mills again, probably big upside, but they've got Tyrod Taylor on the the whole Deshaun Watson thing. Like that is a basket case there yeah, in yeah, Houston, and they're yeah. going to be Taylor's shit. the starter, and then they'll s- they'll be work. shit, and they'll be shit for a long time. I yeah. imagine wouldn't surprise me if they tank and whoever's number one. They'll be they'll be at a UNC Sam mm-hmm. something yeah name escapes me Hal Pal something. Well, there's also the Sooners quarterback. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Spencer Rattler. Spencer QB one. QB one. Yeah. He'll be he'll be. Uh, I'm getting Manziel vibes from. Spencer. Yeah, I am. Uh, mm. But it could be Baker vibes because yep. there's yeah. a thin line. Yeah, yeah. very thin line there. <laughs> yeah. Maka, who are your winners and losers? My winner. I wanted to say the Jets, but I hate Jets, so I'm <laughs> going with Miami, a direct rival of them. Obviously. Just so many picks. They had four picks inside the top 50. They traded out, got back in the top 10. They got Waddle from Alabama. So now they have... Um, so qu- question for the table. Would you pick Waddle above um, De- Devontae Smith? Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. A bit thicker, quicker. Oh, yeah. But, but, but before, what he does... <laughs> Disagree. He stretches the field. We could talk about this or not. Like you, but whatever. But what Sean Devonta Jackson stre- stretches the field. You don't pick him six numbers. I, I don't know. I think numbers. Well, what what is Devonta Smith's best attribute? He's a fucking uh, catching Heisman the football. Winner. <laughs> That's and not an attribute. Well, it is. He runs underneath. He's got glue for he hands. Gets, but like you know, Julian Edelman. He you know probably like Julian Edelman juiced In, up, oh. who is undrafted, like or seven round pick, whatever he was. Yeah. Waddle speed, you can't teach his hands, his quality. Yeah, but Played Edelman won a Super Bowl. This is going back to the Tyreek chat. <laughs> yeah, and you're all wrong. You never played the position. So. <laughs> Fuck. Is that you saying that because you're as fast as Devonta Smith? Is that why? <laughs> and better hands. Yeah, exactly right. No, it's because his legs are as skinny I as love Devonta, Devonta Smith. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> let's let's continue. I love <laughs> Devonta Smith. I think I hope he does well. I really do. I honestly do. But Waddle is fucking sexy. He's a sexier pick. Okay. Trust me, he'll fit in there. We'll They've come back got in a couple years. Devonte Parker. Yeah, They've right. got. You can't tell. Like you, you can't yeah. tell. Exactly. It's the exact so- yeah. yeah. Whatever. Like it could clearly just come down to the schemes that they're playing and running. Mm. Like, mm. and that's why I love yeah. Waddle here in this system. He's not going as the number one guy. Devonta Smith mm-hmm. goes to Philadelphia. He's going to get a best corner yep. who's yep. just yeah. going to monster him. Yeah. Um, Sorry, but whatever. And he's got Jalen Hurts throwing to him, whereas, well, to a, this, is the, this whole draft is mm-hmm. sort of set up for Tua. They will know by week six, week seven, if Tua is their guy because mm-hmm. the team is ready to go. Oh, definitely. They got Waddle and Phillips in the first round. Jalen Phillips, obviously, prematurely retired. Um, had a lot of concussion issues, so there are yeah, some other injuries. injuries. That's Again. a crazy story, isn't it? To, mm, yeah. to go from medically retired in college mm. to come back and play mm. one year and play out his skin. And he killed the it. Round. He was at UCLA, head knocks, retired, went to Miami. Obviously, Gregory Russo, who went to the Bills, he sat out. He got 15 sacks as a freshman, went, mm. sweet, I'm a first rounder. Mm. Phillips played really well uh, in his absence. He, he's, you talk about tape peps, he's a big unit who just mm. disrupts lines and it gets yeah, to the great quarterback. Uh, what was interesting about Phillips, I was sorry to cut you off. No, um, you're good. Go. Uh, he was sliding, of course. The, dra- the pass rush draft class this year, not as great as it had been and they mm. slid a little bit. Um, Denver are actually looking to trade into the top, into the 20s. So uh, from the second round, trade back in to pick him, but he didn't, of course, slide far enough. He mm. got picked 18. I think, um, yeah, I think he was probably the best. If he made best. it into like 22, 23 range, yeah. Denver was going to pick him. Well, because there was a massive run. There was Quiddy Pay, Jason Owe, like yeah, we said, Greg Russo. Yeah. They were, that's when, you know, when one goes, it, it seems to happen. Yeah, um, but then in the second round, they went and got Holland out of Oregon, out of safety, first yep. safety to come off the board, does a bit of everything, can go down into the slot. Uh, they've obviously got um, Byron Jones, Xavier Howard as cor- the corners they're set. And then they got Eichenberg out of Notre Dame, the tackle. So... I really liked um, Erkenberg coming yeah, out. Yeah, like, I think he's Notre really Dame. polished as a left tackle. Yeah. Like he, he can see skills. He's big, um, 
unfortunately for him, is his arm length was under three three inches, and they all look at which that is and go, the key. Yeah, they I all look at that and go, "Oh, well, maybe he needs to be a guard." Yeah. But he, like six six, you're like, mm, <laughs> "I'm not sure you got that." And he doesn't lens. have to be the stud left tackle. He can he go to right, right tackle, tackle and agree. they've got Austin Jackson, who they draft in the first round. I think that's a great ad for their offensive line. Hundred percent. So really again, like they're their four guys in the top fifty who could all start. Mm-hmm. Round one, mm-hmm. so the team is here. It is set. I love Tua. I love, 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 love him. Everything I've seen from college all the way up. The injuries suck. Like I said, they will know. In the they could win the AFC East. A member of this table yep. has money on them to win the AFC East this year. I won't reveal who. Mm. Which one? It's me. <laughs> um, but it's on. To, it is now on Tua. He's got the weapons. Uh, they also yep. got a tight end, uh, Hunter Long. I think his name was. Yep. Who can might him and Gasecki get do a couple of two tight end looks? Um, I just love the way the Dolphins are set up. Mm. We'll, we'll see if you know if 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 he, if he is the two of people are hanging shit on, then fuck, they've got to go get a quarterback. They join the Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson market. Yep. Uh, my big loser, and people may shit on me for this, is Jacksonville, <laughs> and it's because obviously their first pick is an A plus, but mm, anyone yeah. in their right mind picks Trevor Lawrence because he's the best player to come along in a generation. Yeah. yeah. And we've just spent time talking about just make the quarterback happy. What do you do with the next pick? You draft a fucking running back, a skinny running back. And then and Urban Meyer came out and yeah, said... Yeah, but it's his college mate. Like, it's his running back from Clemson. So Good. Yeah. Sick. Sit, draft someone in the fourth round who does the exact same thing. Urban Meyer came out and said, well, Etienne, you know, we draft, he's our third down back. Why on fucking God's third green down, earth uh, are you drafting yeah, a third? You got, you got when we talk yeah. about those pass rushes who were there, which is one thing they're actually funny with, go get another lineman. The guy, yeah. and then they went and got Walker Little on the offensive line, Andre Cisco, a safety, who they mm. both holes they needed. Both guys have torn ACLs in the last twelve months. Yeah. Yeah. So you've drafted guys with high upside, but fucking big injuries. So yes, yeah. the yeah. massive yeah. flag. Yeah. The, you've got yeah. the set number one pick. You've got your quarterback. Just make safe picks. Just make smart picks. Guys who can come in that don't protect him. For what the first what is year? Walker Little's ceiling? Like, oh yeah, he's he's in. He's a okay right tackle. What's his down? You know he doesn't play ever again. Yeah, yeah. he he hasn't. He's played eleven snaps in t- two years or something. Like I I just really think and and my mm. biggest worry is that they break Trevor Lawrence. They ruin Trevor Lawrence. I was like, going to say knock on wood it doesn't happen, but is this a Joe Burrow situation? Yeah, or a fucking yeah. Andrew Luck situation yeah. where he reaches these really highs and then let because you know fuck I mean it's already hard. He's in Jacksonville. Like he, <sighs> well, Joe Joe Burrow hasn't been worked out, but if we're talking like is this. No, Josh Ryan, like Sam Donald, where mm. he goes, you know, to a, a poor team. They don't put anything around him, and then they're like, "Well, he's yeah. not the guy. We'll restart." And then mm. be interesting what Sam Donald does to the Panthers. If like he yeah. comes well, out they're really done, good, yeah. you'll be like, yeah. uh, well, "Well, look what the yeah, Jets did. Jets they problem. draft, they draft Wilson. They go and get an offensive lineman. The next pick, they trade up to get him. Yep. Then they go and get Elijah Moore. They've yep. signed um, Chris Davis. They mm-hmm. signed uh, their, their line is stacked. That everything is built for. If I'm saying yeah. down, I'm going, "What the fuck? I got Adam Gase <laughs> yeah. and a bunch of defensive backs." Well, like, they, they finally got. I think Adam Gase was a big problem there. So yeah, they got rid so of him. I, I love the confident. Jets. I was very close to going to the Jets, but I love Miami's draft. But yeah. again, Jack, oh, yeah. fuck, you cannot count the Trevor Lawrence pick in there because. Mm. There's no other pick. There's no. There's yeah. maybe five teams who don't pick Trevor Lawrence, and five might be generous. I got. Oh, oh yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I, I I just don't like first round running backs. I think it's dumb. You can find value. They've got James Robinson, who had such a good rookie year. Yeah, like the, it was just fucking shit me. Like they could have <laughs> exactly yeah. undrafted yeah. running back who produced a thousand yard season. Yeah, yeah. Like and then you, oh, I just think it's such a waste of a really quality pick. You look at all the players around them; yeah. it'll be a classic thing. I think I Antti- do like the corner they got in the top of the third round. Wallace, I think, Antti- I think it was. Etienne could be the best running back out of this draft class, but you still. Well, what does that give you? Then, yeah, exactly. Okay, then you got a good running. Then you got yeah, two you got good f- running backs. So then, what do you do? You pay one of them, or you don't pay any? Like so, it's just yeah, yeah. and you know, oh. spend a first round pick on him. So yeah. I also have New Orleans as losers because they've reached on that pass rusher and they just never seem to draft well, but it always seemed to do well. They had one mm. awesome draft. They had Drew Brees as quarterback. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> but again, <laughs> and they draft yeah. Ian Book Pretty out of Notre Dame, mm. who yeah. sucks in the fourth <laughs> round. So they are another team. Again, if I'm a yeah. Bucks fan, like Monks is, I'm cheering. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big time. Big time. The other guys in that division don't think have gotten better. No. That'll wrap us up, our NFL chat.